so the autopsy has been done. Um, today we were able to meet with the coroner and um, a date has been set for for the in Chris Lan, you had your own private pathologist at the autopsy ex examination room. They just called the police that they want a new autopsy. That is... Uh -huh. But how can Chris Lan be this heartless and... This school is so unkind. I can never imagine you asking a woman. I know many people are saying I should not post to my daughter again. I shouldn't look at her pictures. I shouldn't post her. Some people are even caught to my DM. My child was in a joke with They came to my house on Saturday, two days after she died. My husband told them, we have been hearing rumors of electrocution. Can you please help us investigate it? She said she doesn't know. They came to my house on Saturday, two days after she died. My husband told them, we have been hearing rumors of electrocution. Can you please help us investigate it? What casket? I have accepted my fate. Let me go and bury my child in peace. Let me return her to her maker in complete peace. Please tell me what happened to my child. They kept on. No mother deserves to go through this. Chris Lan, may God judge you guys. Just look at how healthy this girl is dancing with her mother. He says she was a sickly child. Get another lie to tell. God judge all of you in that school. You don't have empathy at all. Shame on you, Chrisland. Big shame. Big shame on you, Chrisland. A very big... How on earth can someone say this girl like this is sickly? How on earth can you just lie? Why not just say she was electrocuted and they'll take it as an accident? Why are these schools always lying? Carrying lawyers. Why? father of this girl shows her love the mother of this girl shows her love nobody would tell me that this girl was a child that was lacking you know motherly care or fatherly care look at her in dubai you know living her best life you know the girl i, I don't know if the parents even knew or suspected this girl would not live long they gave her the best life and then you wake up one morning to say she was a sickly child why don't you just tell me the, the tape of the mother of this girl putting out screenshots about what chris Lan is trying to do or is up to and how the girl was a bubbling child with her parents all the love her trip to dubai and everything she was not a sickly child for those of you who have watched those short clips you would agree with me that this child was never a sickly child a child that is sickly will not be this you know happy bubbling doing good going to school coming back helping out in the kitchen trying to try out other recipes and all of that this child you are seeing came from a family that is loving like these are past videos of a child bonding with her mother her, dancing with her mother her father playing with her siblings and the mother had categorically said that she doesn't know how to make this girl this the younger daughter and her, her son who is next to the girl that passed how to understand what is going on because each time she tries to explain to them the lock up how do you put so much pain on a parent and then ask, you now they have brought lawyers is not enough now they are they are asking for a second autopsy meaning that they should they should exhume the body for those of you who might not know the meaning of exhume exhume means that re, you know going back to the grave of somebody who has passed on to bring back the body for them to re-examine for them to busha how bar how bar chris land how do you people think? You know, yesterday I was on Facebook and I saw the post on Chris Land and how people, mothers, parents were condemning the act that how can parents be asking them to resume to op reopen that kind of a school when this had happened to somebody's child? And then I saw another post, somebody saying that Chris Land is a very wicked school. How can they be asking a mother to assume her own child? my god and my father i watched i went to this woman's page the mother of this girl and i saw when she said that she likes to shop she likes to buy things but one of the most difficult shopping she had ever had to do was to buy a casket for her child why would a school like look at it from the conversation i saw a, a lady that said 
this girl was electrocuted by a vendor who came to the you know stadium to do vendor work to us to sell well and they, they, you know the thing that is surprising is the fact that most of these vendors pay to the school or to the person hosting the event or to the stadium okay now a child died out of negligence that you maybe they didn't have somebody controlling them and the annoying part is that they know the vendor said they said the vendor is aware that that thing is shocking and brought it there and the next thing they did was to pour water for those of you who are medical people you know that pouring water on somebody who is electrocuted is even doing worse right it's not water you're supposed to pour to somebody who is electrocuted you don't pour, pour water on the person and the funny thing is that this girl hit her head and the girl had passed on while in the premises of this inter-house spot but they did not want the mother to know they still carry the cops to the to that um immunization center you people have done wrong come out plain and say we are sorry for the way this thing was handled always whenever somebody is aggrieved always you know take responsibility first before doing anything but the next thing chris Land did was to bring lawyers because they know they are guilty it is only the guilty person that will see that what they have done is wrong and they, be, they bring lawyers you are bringing the lawyers to come and do what a child died you continued your inter-house spot you took the child to a, mat a, a, a maternity home like let's say an immunization center and then you are bringing the lawyer and now you're demanding for an autopsy meanwhile your own uh, pathologist wherever they are called your own medical you know practitioner was there to be able to ascertain that whatever autopsy was carried out was genuine is this how you people want to throw this girl's matter under the bus the same way you put throw sylvester omoni's uh, matter under the bed this is really wrong under the rock or whatever this is really wrong and schools should be able to should learn to take responsibilities when something happened there are schools that children have drowned drowned in the in the, in the swimming pool there are schools that children have fallen from a you know a four-story building and the school owned up and said they were sorry and they did their very best if you if you come by saying you are sorry the parents will take in but if you try to be smart the parents will fight you to a standstill i don't understand why Niger most nigerian schools do this you go to somebody's you somebody's uh, child that is in your own care you don't take responsibility and you are and do you know the annoying part if this thing happened in the school environment like in the school itself i'm sure there would have been footage for people to follow on but the way they are going about this issue how can you ask a parent that is hurting a parent that is not happy to exhume their own child how are you so heartless like do you know what it means for a parent to bury their own child let alone assume that child chris Land. people who in short everybody now on facebook is blaming the parents who still have their children and you you know what will even shock you the most parents who have their children they are demanding for a reopen that is it because a child died they are, they, are, they, are, they are being hard until it happens to them. May God forgive you parents who think that your, um, the other child's <clears throat> life is not important, but yours is. Thank you guys for watching this. If I have any other update on this matter, I'll sure bring it to you guys. It's really sad.